Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to share some beautiful Christmas cards with you using the Whimsical Trees and the Christmas Tree Dies. One of my favorites. I have been obsessed over this for the last several days. We're also going to be using the Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series paper along with the gorgeous frayed ribbon. Uh, iridescent snowflakes. Oh my goodness, I have a whole bunch of fun up my sleeve for you. Uh, this is part of the Stampers Dozen blog hop. The design team has a theme today of Christmas creations, and I think you're going to love these. Let's flip the camera around and I'll show you all the pretties. This Whimsical Trees stamp set in the Christmas Trees dies is part of a suite in the holiday mini catalog. The Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Paper, you can see that gold, or I'm sorry, silver foil in there. It's almost an iridescent. It is absolutely beautiful. This comes 12 by 12 and you get two sheets of each design double-sided. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to, I have two cards to make with you. This first one is gonna have a crumb cake base and this is five and a half by eight and a half. It's already been scored and folded at four and a quarter. And apparently I put my bone folder away. <laughs> so we're just gonna make sure that's a nice crisp fold. Then what I've got is a piece of basic white that's four by five and a quarter, a piece of the beautiful specialty paper. This is three and three quarters by five, a layer of misty moonlight that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And you can find all of these dimensions, still photos, a complete list of all the ingredients that I used on my blog right here. And at the end of the video, there's gonna be a link up in the top right corner that you can click on that'll take you right to this blog post so you can see all the information and also join in on the Stampers Dozen blog hop. They have some beautiful Christmas creations for you today. I think the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my stamps and we are going to stamp a sentiment on the inside. I am choosing to use polished pink ink and memento. Whoops, polished pink ink and memento. I was putting them way up there. I need to get back down here in my frame. And I'm gonna take that and I'm going to stamp with the black ink right on my inside white layer. And that looks pretty darn straight. Go me. And then I decided to use the patterned paper that has all the presents on it. I'm gonna pull out a piece of it here. This is what I'm talking about. And what I did with this is I just took my paper snips and I snipped out a few presents. I snipped out a bunch more for the front of the card. But we're doing the inside right now. So what I wanted to do was kind of layer these in here as kind of a decoration. And I think this is gonna look great. So I'm just going to add these with my liquid glue. I love these presents, they're just so pretty. I think these colors are just adorable for Christmas. Okay. We're gonna put this right inside our card base so we can have that done. Now this particular suite of products is what I'm using, whoops, <laughs> for my September kit class. And you get the specialty paper, a half a pack or I'm sorry, a full roll of the ribbon and a half a pack of these wonderful snowflakes. And oh, we're gonna put this on the next card and you'll get to see how gorgeous these are. Comes with four different card designs, enough supplies cut and ready to make eight of them. And of course, video tutorials for each card. It's a whole bunch of fun. So again, on my blog, at the end of the video, you're gonna be able to click and find all the details for this. Now we're gonna take our Misty Moonlight layer and we're going to add this beautiful striped paper. And look at how pretty that is. Can you see where it's like iridescent on those foil stripes? 
love this. And we're gonna put this right on the front of our card. Let's make sure it's opening, or it's right side up, I should say. It wasn't too long ago that I put a card front on a card that was backwards. So it opened from the left, yeah. Have you guys done that? <laughs> I think we all have at some point. Okay, then what I did, like I said, I took my paper snips, which I also put away. I must have cleaned up pretty good last night. I don't remember. <laughs> it was late. And I cut out a whole bunch of presents. These are super easy to cut out. They're all squares, rectangles. Very, very easy. And we're going to take those and just put those right on the front of our card. So we're going to figure out how are we going to arrange these. I think I'm going to do this one right up here. Now you do want to watch your bows because there's a right, like this bow. If we put it this way, it would be sideways. If we put it this way, it'd be upside down. But I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to put this one right here. Let's see. You just go through and figure out what your layout is going to look like. Maybe this one, and this one, and last but not least, that one. So this is where I'm going to put all of my bits and pieces. Then I've got a scrap of basic white and also misty moonlight. I used my layering circle dies to die cut both of these out to give me this. So I'm gonna layer these two together. And I'm just gonna bring them in here for a dry fit so I know where to put my little gifts. We're just gonna move these up just a, just a touch. And I think that looks pretty. Yep, I think that's gonna look just fine. Okay, now we're gonna add these. So I'm gonna do one at a time. And hopefully, can get these in here straight. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I just love the foil on these different papers because it just is so classy. Very elegant. Who doesn't want an elegant Christmas card, especially one that's super cute, right? Oh, I think that one's just a little bit crooked. There we go. Oops, I almost stuck my finger right in the glue. Maybe I did a little bit. And then we'll put this one right here. Make sure we've got room. I'm gonna push this up just a little bit. There we go. And last one. I think out of all these presents, this one is my favorite. <laughs> if you can have a favorite, that one's my favorite. There we go. How did I do? I think I did pretty good. Now what I wanted to do is take the cute little whimsical Christmas tree with the polished pink ink. And I'm gonna stamp it right on here. Now, I decided to also pull in the silver foil specialty paper. And I wanted to show that to you because it's a great addition to this suite. And it's really, really pretty. You get three sheets of this in 12 by 12. Let's see if I can get it out of the package here. You get a silver, which is kind of a brushed. You get this beautiful, beautiful kind of pinkish color that is a brushed. And then you get this purplish color that is a little more smooth. It's not as brushed, but look at these beautiful metallics. So you get 12 by 12 sheet of each. So I took a scrap of this and I brought in the dies. Now, there are 13 different dies in this particular set. And they match up with the stamp set, of course. But then there's also some dies in here that don't have stamps that match them, like this one. And then this is an element for the little tree. This is an element for the tall tree. You've got these couple trees here. 
and this, which doesn't have a stamp that big either. Oh, nope, because this one is a two-step stamp and it's right here. So lots of great elements in these dies. I took this little die and I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine. I'll be right back. And here comes this little element and I just thought this would look super, super cute on here. So we're going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this. This would be a good time to use those adhesive sheets and turn this into a sticker. But of course you have to have them out on your desk because out of sight, out of mind, right? And I didn't even think of that until right now. It's like, oh, that would have been brilliant, Kelly. You do better than me. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love that. Okay. I've also got some rhinestones. I've been using rhinestones a lot with this suite. I just think that they look really pretty. I'm gonna put a little rhinestone right up there. And then we're gonna add this to our misty moonlight layer. And you just got that little scallop peeking out from behind. And then I'm gonna bring in some dimensionals. and add this to my card front. Oh my gosh, is this not just adorable? Look at all that glitz, right? Very, very cute. Okay, I have one more card to make. We are going to move some of the stuff out of the way. Our next card is going to capitalize on the Blushing Bride. And I choose my colors based on the coordinating colors of the Designer Series paper. Stampin' Up! makes that easy for us. It's one of the things I just adore about their products is that we have all of the color coordination. Now this is a thick, basic white card base. It's the same size, eight and a half by five and a half. It's scored at four and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of Blushing Bride that is four by five and a quarter, a piece of white that is three and three quarters by five. This is what we're gonna use for the inside layer of our card. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I haven't made this card yet on the inside. I made the rest of it, but not, not this part. So I'm gonna take my sentiment and it says may love may the love of the season warm your heart and or warm your home and fill your heart and how straight did I get that well it's pretty straight but I got a black smudge on my layer let me see if I can do this again that looks great now the other thing I just thought of let's bring in the blushing bride ink and we've got this fun tree and I'm going to stamp this off once, and then I'm gonna come in here and stamp this on this base. And look at how pretty that is. It's just ever so slight, very light in color. Gives it a little bit of interest on the inside, which I love. And this is gonna be the inside of our card. There we go, isn't that pretty? Yeah, okay. Now for the front of the card, we've got this four and a quarter, no, four by five and a quarter inch layer. I've got one of the bigger circles from my layering circles and measured on the inside, this is two and seven eighths. We're gonna run this through our die cutting machine right about here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this layer and run it through the time-worn type 3D embossing folder to give it some really neat texture. Now, anytime that I'm die cutting and embossing the same layer, I will always do my die cutting first because if you emboss first and then run it through to die cut it, a lot of times it'll smash your embossing. If you do it this way, your embossing will stay nice and, and raised. 
And here comes that embossed layer and look at how cool that looks, right? Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is bring in that Blushing Bride ribbon. Does anybody see it? It's here, here it is. I'm gonna bring the Blushing Bride ribbon in and I am going to just wrap this around this layer right here. We have enough room for you to secure it to the back. And I just like to use regular tape to do that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece, let's see. Let's see if we want to wrap this around here and tie it. Just like this. Let's trim this off. This ribbon is so fun. We're gonna take it and even though it's already frayed, we're gonna, let's see if I can get a hold of it here. It keeps crawling away from me. Well, obviously it doesn't crawl, right? And we're just going to cut it so that we have little strips here. You may want to do this before you tie it on there, my goodness. It's giving me a hard time. There we go. And that's exactly what I was looking for, just some little frayed, fringy ends here. Then we're gonna take these beautiful snowflakes. Now, in a pack of these, you get 24. The kit that I have um, using this suite, you get a half a pack of these. So you're gonna get 12 of these snowflakes included for a price of $45 in the kit with all the other goodies. Now we're gonna take and add this to the front with dimensionals. And we wanna make sure that we keep this popped up there good. like that. We're going to add one dimensional to the back of our snowflake and these mini dimensionals fit in here just perfect. This is the take your pick tool if you're not familiar with it. It has a putty end on one end for grabbing those little embellishments. It's really handy. And then I love the pokey tool on this end. And then it's it's got all kinds of little features. You have a little spatula. It's also we've also got a um, a die brush adapter that goes on there. It's a very cool tool. All right, here comes our front layer, and then this little baby. It's gonna go right in the center. And this circle is just the right size to accommodate this snowflake. <gasps> Woo! Okay, and the only other thing that I wanted to do was maybe add a rhinestone. So let's see. Oops, I didn't get it right in the middle. Hang on, I didn't push it down. I always, I never push them down until I'm sure about my placement and that looks great okay so here oops let me just shove all my stuff out of the way here is the beautiful card using those wonderful snowflakes isn't that pretty and the inside and then we've got this one where we cut the designer series paper packages or presents apart and use that cute little die there put some presents on the inside and then Last week I had a blog hop where we did a step it up um, program. That was our theme. So this was a very basic beginner card using the Whimsy stamp set. And here's a card that would be for a casual stamper, you know, not a beginner, but someplace in the middle. 
And I just added the designer paper and the silver foil. That's the only difference. Same card, just added designer paper. And then an Avid stamper would have a little more tools. So we've got some die cutting here, some ribbon, used a punch on the end of here, and here are those presents as a layer. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. So this was a lot of fun too. So here's five great card ideas using the Whimsical Trees stamp set and dies with all the goodies. And don't forget, I have a kit class in this that you may enjoy. It's so much fun getting all of the pieces in a kit. All the cardstock is all cut up for you. All you need to do is watch videos and sit in your pajamas and make cards. Again, that kit is $45. If you click right up here, you're going to head over to my blog. I want you to join in on the Stampers Dozen Blog Hop with the Christmas Creations theme. And also, if you are interested in placing an order with me, this is my blog. Click here, you're going to head right over there. This is my host code currently. So when you click on the shopping cart to go see what you have in your cart, you're going to see a place where it has host code. If you enter this code, if your order is under $150, I appreciate you doing that. That allows me to do giveaways. And if your order is over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. Please make sure you click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And thank you guys so much for stopping in to stamp with me today. I hope you have a fabulous Tuesday. Bye-bye.